again, I've had some folks in the past ask about what might be done if somebody steals your photo. Um, and you know, it happens all the time nowadays, especially with social media. Um, and while I'm not really terribly concerned if somebody downloads my photo off of Facebook or Instagram or something and uses it on their screensaver or desktop, I mean, yeah, it irritates me, but it's really only when somebody uses it to make money. So here's some do's and don'ts. Uh, if you have found that somebody has uh, taken your image and is making money off of it, now here's some don'ts <laughs> first off. Uh, don't start discussing it uh, online and naming names. Don't point everybody to the source and send them all there going, oh, you gotta just get these people off the internet and they're stealing everybody's photos, all right? Just don't do that because they're just gonna shut everything down and they're gonna block you and you're not gonna be able to see what they're doing anymore. Uh, don't send an invoice for how much you would have charged for the use of that image. Again, they're just gonna ignore you. Don't ever tell the infringer that you caught him or her. Once you do that, like I said, you're gonna get blocked. You're not gonna be able to see what they're doing anymore. You no longer have the opportunity to gather any more evidence. Don't tell anybody, except maybe your spouse. So here's some do's. If it's a really horrible infringement, you know, they are making a ton of money <laughs> that you could have made, uh, you can consult or hire with an intellectual property lawyer. Make sure that you don't get a divorce lawyer or something else. You need an intellectual property lawyer. And collect evidence. Take screenshots, bookmark the website, uh, buy that bottle of conditioner or whatever it is that your photo happens to be on that you didn't give permission to use. Keep the print, the book, the flyer, the brochure, whatever it is, you need to have that evidence in your possession so that you can prove that they stole your image and are making money off of it. Um, there is a company that you can contact. You can reach out to imagerights.com uh, and I'll show you what they do in just a minute or you can register with the copyright office immediately. Um, you do actually have a three month kind of window from when you've noticed the infringement to get that stuff registered, registered with the copyright office. Um, if you don't, the only thing that you're going to ever be able to sue for is the value of the use. However, you know, so if they only made 50 bucks off of it, there's really no point in getting a lawyer because that's going to cost way too much money and it's not even worth your time. So if you do register the image with the Copyright Office, you can sue for up to, I think it's like $150,000 worth of damages. So much more worth it. ImageRights.com, they do infringement claims assessments. They will prosecute, they will do the online searching and copyright registration, and it is actually a free thing for the basic plan, uh, but they do take 50%. So if you want them to do all the homework and the research and the copyright registration and do all the work and are willing to give up 50%, then you don't really have much of a headache because you can just let them do it. And so copyright registration is something that I would suggest you do the American Society of Media Photographers, ASMP.org, has got some absolutely wonderful information on how to register if you're interested. So definitely do some research on this. And like I said, it I really just would not waste your time with mild, stupid little, you know, I downloaded your photo because I thought it was pretty <laughs> infringement. Um, I would only really uh, go down this road I mean, definitely register, but only go down the road of hiring a lawyer or something like that if somebody is really making a profit off of your images. So good luck, and I'll see you again soon.